I don't like Excolid Rose Dark Mode. The colors are off, emojis look awful, it just doesn't look good. I wanted to improve on that and in this release I am including two new improvements. One is about dynamic styling. This means that when you change the background color, the canvas color, then the menu and all of the other menu items, the shortcut menu, etc., dynamically changes its color. So you can see that as I move and change my background color, the color of the menu changes. So that's one option. You also have a second option that it doesn't match color, but it follows a gray mode, a grayscale mode where the tone is matched. So to achieve that, I need to go to plugin settings and scroll down to display. And under display, you have dynamic styling. And here I can change to gray match tone. So if I choose this, then you will see that the menu is now gray and however I change the colors, the menu will stay or remain gray, but it will always have a tone that matches the color. So if the background is dark, then it will have a dark tone. And if the background is light, it will have a light tone. Also, if you don't like dynamic styling, you can go ahead and turn this off. If you turn it off, then you're back to default Excolitro. And by the way, now I'm using the minimal theme here without any hacks. And unfortunately, you can see that you have this issue with the minimal theme. If Obsidian is dark, then Excolitro colors don't come out nice. Now the dynamic styling solves that as well. So now I'm going to turn dynamic styling back on with match colors. And you can see that right now, these colors now look good. The entire canvas looks nice, has a coherent uh, color layout. Now, in terms of the color inversion, I created a script that inverts the colors on the canvas. Now, this color inversion will work differently compared to the previous one, so you might need to go into settings and you need to change some of the theme settings here. So you can see that I turned all of these switches off that I don't want Excolidro to automatically match colors to the theme. I always want to use the light theme because colors look the best in the light theme, but instead of using the dark theme, I use Excolidro in the light theme and I use this new script to invert colors. So if I press invert colors, then you can see that the colors are inverted. And let me just show you, I'll invert them again back to the original one. The colors are inverted. When I choose dark mode, the color inversion is sort of similar, but you can see that my color gradient here looks awful. But when I use the color inversion script, then my color gradient looks good. The other benefit of the color inversion is now these colors actually say and mean what they are. So the color, the whole color palette is inverted as well. So remember that when you have a rectangle and let me just again invert this back to the normal and let me now choose the dark mode here. So you can see that when I'm in dark mode, then these colors become strange because when I choose white, it's actually called black. Well, so right now it doesn't have names. But the colors are inverted in a way that it's a bit confusing because when you, so let me just show you. So if now I write that I want my background color to be white, then it's going to be black. And that is because the way color inversion in dark mode is implemented in Excolidraw. But if I use my script to invert the drawing, and now I choose this object and I type in white here. 
so I want this to be white then the white is going to be the white so with the new color inversion script you get real good colors and you can still have dark mode in a way that your menus the elements panel and the obsidian stool panel and all of the other items will look good they're going to match the background color of your drawing in addition if you like to program if you're interested in this you can also look up the script for the inverted colors script and you can adjust it to your needs so i set it up in a certain way there are different logics for how you might want to invert colors but i found this to be the most useful one so all in all i hope you will like this i'm super excited about this change because i think this finally corrects a problem with Excolid draw that the dark mode colors don't look good now this is not really dark mode in this case Excolid draw is actually always in light mode but you can switch your palette to a dark palette or a light palette and the menus around it will change colors so that takes care of that problem i'll hope you enjoy it and stay tuned for further updates thank you